Hello everyone YouTube, how's it going? Welcome to Skyrim. Alright, so as I was just saying to everybody in chat, it's been literally years since I played this if we don't include Enderall. And Enderall, like, yeah, it's made in the Skyrim engine, but it ain't, it ain't Skyrim. In many ways I think it's better than Skyrim, but we won't go into that. So, just a quick hits up, this is the Skyrim Special Edition. I want to say I have between 70 and 80 mods, give or take. Most of them are pretty damn substantial. So, there you go. Anyway, hello, Psycho Panda, McPoodoo, Alex, Jason Anderson, he's my favorite, Dextrous Al, Hemo Schnabber, Dr. Octavius, scrolling, bear with me here, bear with me. Uh, I wrote that quest mod down, suggestion, by the way, uh, Dr. Octavius, thank you, man. Oreo Yo Yo, Marky Mark, I want to say that's how you say that. MC Can, Mystic Saber, Oreo Yo 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 Yo. Dwarven Kin, Bruno Arisen, Zadnamar, Emperor Pigeon, and everybody else. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream in Skyrim and stuff. My chair's messing with me. Alright, so, bear in mind that, um, okay, put it this way. The mods should all work just fine. I did quite a bit of testing to make sure the game wasn't crashing, but who knows, right? Also, I did just add, like, three more, literally before I started the stream, which is... Oh my god, this chair, which is always the worst idea. Like, always, but always the worst idea. Also, what I typed in chat never came out. That's annoying. There you go. There's the answer to that question from about 20 minutes ago. Alright, so, uh... I think we're ready to begin. Now, when we jump in the game, I will let you have some say over which race and gender I pick. I'm just going to ask you when we get to that point, and you can spam it in the chat, I guess. But let us begin. Let us bloody begin. Hello, squad. How you doing, man? Will this be a normal story playthrough? To a degree, yes. Uh, but again, it's got a lot of mods. Skyrim's unique treasure set up. Alright, so we're going to go... Oh, my God. Hang on, I need to read some of this. By the way, let me know if the game sounds too loud, too quiet, because I don't really know. Hello, Kitty Meows, Beer Khajiit. That's because you're a furry. Followers are able to perform stealth kills. If you see no topic traits, okay. Keep the followers in sneak state. Follower must be equipped with a dagger or a sword. Enemy must be okay. Talk with the follower and then select take down the enemy. Use the prepare topic. Okay, cool. We'll see if that actually works. We're going to go with immersive law friendly for that one. Hello, Midnight Fire. How you doing? All right. So, <laughs> guilty indeed. Let me change the field of view first of all because the default field of view makes me dizzy. I don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. All right, so here's the thing. I'm okay with playing any race besides Dunma, because I always play Dunma, like all the friggin' time. So I want to play something different. And we also played an orc uh, during, uh, you know, like basically pretty much every quest mod you've seen me do on YouTube, I was playing an orc. So right now, I'm going to give you like maybe 30 seconds. Just let me know, and I'll just see like roughly what's getting the most suggestions. Do you want me to pick one? Not Dunma, not Orc. Go. And we'll we'll do the gender afterwards. So we've got Nord Argonian maid Breton Argonian female. Argonian. What, what's with the bloody Argonians, man? Khajiit, Imperial, Thick Lizard Lady, Nord Breton, Nico, Argonian, Khajiit, Argonian. I, th I feel like it's the same people saying Argonian. <laughs> People Argonian. Thick. Breton, Argonian, Okaji, Argonian, Dunma. I already said no Dunma. Argonian female. Pay attention, damn it. Kaji or Argonian. Argonian. Dude, what? Wow. Why does everyone want to be Argonian? That's so odd. We have like a bunch of scalies in the chat. Is that it? They're not furries. They're scalies this time. Alright, I know for a fact that Makpudu is saying Argonian an inordinate amount. So... <laughs> It's not quite as many Argonian suggestions as it seems. But I do think Argonian is winning, oddly enough. I think it's like between that and Khajiit. Mm, I, I, sure, I'll go with an Argonian. If, if, that, if that is what we are going with. I know you did say it like three times. Not enough Argonians in the game. Alright man, we'll be an Argonian. So, gender. Male or female. Go now, go. Just say one, either male or female. This is where people are going to be like, Oh, actually, there are more than two genders. You get the fuck out of here, alright? There are two genders. Only men and women should be... Oh, that's a joke. Uh, not the two genders part. That's very serious. Alright, so we got... Female. Female. Male. Female. 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 Oh my god. Female is winning by like a freaking landslide. 
You kidding me? Holy crap. All right. We're going female because a dude ain't catching up after that. Also, a girl has no name. Uh, where do you change the gender? I'm, I'm like, I'm not kidding. Where do you actually do this? Uh, <laughs> hang on. Uh, I'm not going to spend forever making the character because you don't want to see that. Oh, here we go. Sex. Yeah. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Dude, looks like a lizard lady. Bow, bow. I like the way she looks at my cursor. She's like, oh, what's that? What's oh, like a little fly? I can eat it with my giant lizard tongue. Oh. And then she gets it. All right, presets. What are we going with here? Do we want to look badass or do we want to look sexy? I'm, I'm going to take votes on that as well. Say badass or sexy. Because, <laughs> like, that's kind of more like along, along the lines of badass. By the way, there's no such thing as a sexy lizard to me, but... I will attempt to make her look as sexy as I can, considering she's a bloody lizard lady. I'm a weirdo. We got badass, badass, badass. Red and black's both sexy, sexy, <laughs> badass, but All right, people want badass, for the most part. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, god damn it, I'm on the wrong thing. No, 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 get out of here. Yeah, change the priestess, man. All right, um, hmm. I kind of like these horns. She looks a bit like a dragon. Like a bit of a shitty dragon. And we'll see the Game of Thrones episode last night. It's pretty good, wasn't it? First, like, 15 minutes were really slow, and then shit happened at the end. Don't spoil the chat. Just, you know, I'm just asking if you saw it. Because I know there are people here that haven't seen it, and they probably want to watch it later or whatever. And there's people that are still like, I don't watch Game of Thrones because it's really popular, and I don't like watching things that are popular. Trust me, it's good. Watch it. What's wrong with you? I don't know what to go with here. Um, I don't know, man. I don't like this weird feathery headdress thing we got going on here. I think it's supposed to be like her hair, but it looks like she's growing feathers. And she's a lizard. I think these might be the most badass. Mmm... Nah. Yeah, I think this. I think this is the most badass of the presets. We're gonna go with... Again, I'm not gonna spend forever doing this, or at least that's the intention. I don't know what color we should go with. I'm gonna take one more vote on the color, and then for the most part I'm gonna do the rest of my own, so... The options you have are kind of yellow, kind of green, kind of red, and kind of black. Black, red, yellow, green. And we'll work around that. Go. Last 15 minutes were great. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. The red, green, black, yellow was the other one. We got green, dark, red, black, orange, white. Get out of here. Green, red, black, purple, full yellow, red, 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 black. Got a lot of reds. Not so many on the yellow. Alright, got a lot of red. Uh, we'll, we'll go red. So, it was red again. You're like, that's kind of pink. This is about as red as we're getting, though it's orange. I understand that. Like, don't don't get it twisted. I get it. But it's like, you know, I did say kind of red. I don't know. I mean, that's maybe... I don't know. Sure. We'll go with this. It's 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 a combination between dark and red, and, and those were both kind of suggested. What are we going for on white here? We, we wanted badass, she's, she's got to be like, you know, kind of chunky. And also that makes her tits bigger. And who doesn't want a giant pair of like lizardy boobs to be batting around? I know I don't, but I bet there's people in the chat that do complexion. Oh Jesus, alright, that makes a hell of a deal. Oh, it's only two. We'll go with this one, because that gives her like more, more red in her face. And then we can see her beautiful features more. I guess she's, eh, she's less dark that way, isn't she really? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I'll go with this one. All right, duh, holy shit. Okay, no thank you. No thank you on the dirt. We gotta have a scar, all right? Because, again, badass was the most voted. We're gonna have scars. We gotta look like we we're in a fight with another Argonian. Do they even have claws? I don't know. I assume so. Never really thought about it. I guess they have, like, little, just, like, long girly nails. We'll have, we'll have a nice scar under the eye there. Like, it narrowly missed blinding us. War paint, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, if we're gonna look badass, we're gonna have some war paint, though. I don't know if any of these look like war paint as much as they look like, uh... Weird discoloration on the skin. That one? I don't know. I don't know if I like any of these war paints. I mean, I guess the color might... Ooh, hang on. Ooh, I kinda like that. Ooh. Ooh, lovely. Um, I don't know what to go with, man. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with this for now because it kind of matches the rest of her, and it, it does look a bit more like wall paint like that. We'll go with that nose type. Holy! Sh oh god! We want like a big hooter. Hooter is slang for a nose, in case you're wondering. I'm also totally not reading the chat right now because I'm deep in character creation. Predator pink. Nice. 
Um, I think if we're gonna look badass, we're gonna have kind of a broad nose. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I like that nose. That's probably the default one. Length, blah blah blah. Cheekbones, yeah, let's have some high cheekbones. Yeah, and we'll lower the width, and we'll change the cheek color. We want to change it to, like, I don't know, what do we have it on? Good question. We'll make that, nah, that looks weird. Yeah, we'll leave that default. Laugh lines. That is not laugh lines. That's just, that is completely, utterly not what I'm looking at right now. That is not what laugh lines look like. We'll go with those, though. In fact, no, we won't. They look, they look horrible. Oh, God. How do I get rid of them? Yeah, there you go. Um... Chin color, neck color, neck color. You want like a dirty neck. You're a dirty, dirty girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh god. Eyes. Color eye. Oh, there's an eye shape. Hmm. I don't want like itty bitty little beady eyes. Oh, she looks. I kind of like that. Even though I just said I don't, don't like itty bitty beady eyes. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go with. We'll go with that. Sure. What are we going with on eye color here? We're gonna look badass, we're gonna have weird lizard person eyes. I think those might be the most badass. She look kinda of creepy though. Eh. I don't know if I prefer the yellow ones. <gasps> Ooh, those look those look creepy. Those look a little too creepy actually. I, yeah, I think I like these ones. I think we're gonna go with those ones. Eye height, sure. Let's lower that little bit, she looks a little more badass like that. Width. Lower the width a little bit, because she's... I mean, they're all... I mean, she's got, like, the iguana thing going on where they're out to the side, but, I mean, she is a lizard lady. Eyeshadow? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Brow type? Oh. Changes those. Ah, uh, there's not many options, is there? Does that one look better or worse? I think it looks worse. It looks kind of odd to me. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. Brow height. So we can make them longer, I assume? Eh, well, not really. They just literally go higher. Yeah, look at that! She looks angry! Now she looks badass. Mouth. I don't freaking know. Mouth shape. Eh, I kind of like a mouth. A pretty little mouth, ain't ya? Alright, and here is the horns. Okay. We can have, like, extra horns there. Yeah, I dig that. I dig that. We'll check to make sure there's nothing I prefer, but... I think that might be what... Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like the feather thing. She's got, like, the Darth Maul look going on there. These are not the droids you're looking for. I, that was the only reference I could come up with just then for, uh... <laughs> I know Darth Maul doesn't say that. I can't remember who's... Is it Obi-Wan or some shit? Uh, anyway. Look, I'm not, I'm not the world's biggest Star Wars fan. What do you want from me? Hair color. What is this changing? Is it changing... I mean, I guess we don't really have hair. We got horns. It seems redundant. I'm gonna go with that. That's gonna be our character. Uh, so... I'm going to take suggestions on the name as well. Throw some suggestions in chat, whatever the hell you think is a good suggestion for a lizard lady name, and I will simply pick which one I think I prefer. Is she going to be as thick as a brick, Jason? Yeah, man. Thick as a brick. T-H-I-S-C-C. -C. Bro, lifts, lifts her tail. You want me to lifts her tail? You want me to call her Lily Demon? That ain't going to happen. That's weird. Uh, you should... No offense, Lily. <laughs> Jess the Scale, the lusty maid. Alright, I'm going to tab out to check that. Thank you, by the way. Uh, so the game will freeze, don't worry. You ain't, you ain't going to go nowhere. The lusty maid. Lusty maid. That is like the suggestion everyone's making. <laughs> God damn it, people. What's wrong with you? Alright, uh, wait, do I really not have Streamlabs? Oh, God, I'm the worst. Hang on, let me open Streamlabs so I can actually look at that. I will I will warn you, I'm very freaking tired. I may not sound it because I'm trying not to, but holy shit, did I sleep terribly last night. And I have a backache, so... I'm in pain as well, so that's nice. Alright, load up. So thank you very much to Marky Mark for the $5 tip. He said, loved your videos. Or love your videos, not loved. That's past tense. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hello, Simon. How you doing? Lizard of Oz. <laughs> that's funny, but really dumb. Alright, let's step back into the game so you actually see it. Uh, we're going to go with Lusty Maid, I guess. Uh, lusty. Hang on. I feel like we can come up with something better than that. Hmm. Lusty, 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 what, wow, okay, let's try and be smart here, what rhymes with lizard, that sounds kind of female, wizard, see where you're going with that, hello electrode, lusty, lizard, blizzard, gizzard, wizard, we already said wizard, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to, can't, <laughs> what about argonian, what rhymes with argonian, like nothing, it's like orange, Lusty Gizzard. Yeah, that's just weird. Rusty the Lusty Gizzard. Thick. 
Yeah, man. Thick. Hello, Flam. What is that? Oh, I see what you're writing there. I thought it was like a different language for a second. Um, pissy lizard. Pissy lizard. Misty. Lusty. Hmm. Misty. <laughs> lusty McGrizzle. Yeah, let's go with that. We're going to go with Lusty McGrizzle. He's like a distant, like, you know, half brother, sister, cousin, whatever the hell you want of our regular McGrizzle family of Dark Elves. Like, at one point, one of them bred with an Argonian, so she's Lusty McGrizzle. Somehow has the name. We're, we're gonna go with that. Lusty Lizzie. We'll go with Lizzie McGrizzle. There you go. Lusty Lizzie McGrizzle. Beautiful. Alright, we, we got the name. <laughs> this is the dumbest shit. I hate you all. Alright, so, um, there's a shitload of mods that now have to activate. Annoyingly, they don't do it during cra character creation. I don't know why. So, we're just gonna give it a minute here for these things to pop up, because the last one that seems to pop up is, uh, like, immersive armors or whatever. When it says immersive... Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks. When it says... Alright, I get the point! By the way, let me know if the game's too loud or whatever. When it says immersive armors has finished configuring, that's when we can actually do stuff. Jason, group event. What does that mean? I'll put it in Discord as well. What, what are you talking about, group event? I'm so confused. Alright, hurry up and bloody configure or whatever. In fact, I think we can just do this. So, this is the alternate start mod. Uh, basically, we can pick either, essentially just like a spawn location. You could be like, I want to start at this bar in Windhelm or whatever. We're not going to do that because it doesn't seem that interesting. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Yo, where are these subtitles? What are you doing here? Do you have to turn them on every time you start a new character? What's up with that? They're on! <laughs> Excuse me? No, get out of here, game. You might have to end subtitles. Approach, my child. Maybe she just doesn't have them. There you go. It finally popped up. Begin. Hello, Mister Hasmus. Apocalypse. Apocalypse is like a magic thing. It adds more spells to the game and spreads them out across the world in leveled lists and what have you. Right. Anyway, again, you can have to let me know if the game's too quiet, too loud. I do not really know, because it sounds fine for me. But of course, it's going to be different for you. So, uh, we can either arrive on board a ship, own a property. We can be a member of a guild, a patron at an inn, or a soldier in the army. Uh, I can be caught crossing the border, which is the regular start. It seems kind of redundant. I want to escape the cell. I'm an outlaw in the wilds. I'm a vigilant of Stendar. I'm camping in the woods. I was shipwrecked off the coast. I think you literally just start in a shipwreck, like, off the coast. Like, you know one of those sh wrecked ships that you find around. I'm a vampire in a secluded lair. I'm a necromancer in a secret location. I'm a warlock's thrall. I was attacked and left for dead. I'm an Argonian dock worker in Wilhelm. Oh, look, we're Argonian! Uh, so, pick one. And by pick one, I mean, what do you think is the most interesting, sort of from, I want to escape the cell beyond, like, down here. I think maybe escape the cell might be interesting, because uh, when I was testing to see if this crashes and whatnot, I sort of TCL'd through the gate, and there's, like, a weapon over there and some stuff. Shipwreck does sound kind of interesting, but it also seems completely and utterly deadly to me. Like, I feel like I'm just going to get completely wrecked out there. For Honor is Free this weekend, we could have a small event. I mean, you're welcome to play it. It wasn't really my game. I I played the beta. I didn't really like For Honor. Escape the Cell, Oblivion Start. Yeah, I was kind of tempted to go with that. Shipwreck, Escape the Cell, Shipwreck, Escape the Cell. Vampire, go with Surprise, Escape the Cell, Escape the Cell, Necromancer, Shipwreck, or Escape. We're going to go with Escape then, because that, that was the one I was leaning towards. So we're going to go with that. Boop. So be it. Well, thanks, babe. Right, now normally you rest in this bed uh, to then get teleported to wherever the hell you're starting. Do I have a torch? Because if I don't have a torch, this place is going to be dark as shit. I don't think I have a... I do not have a torch. Well then. Uh, also, we have a bunch of these things to set up mods, so very quickly, I'm going to have to open some of these. Extra bandits menu. Enable. Is it okay, yeah, I think it's fine. We don't need to mess around with that one, I believe. What about... Uh, I think that one's fine as well at the moment. Vivid weathers. We can probably leave that for now as well. I think we have, like, shouts that we can use to... Okay, so this is how you challenge an NPC to a duel. That's actually a very new mod. Uh, Citizen Control, give you access to the in-game... I don't think we need to mess around with that. Auxiliary Armors, let me check that really quick. Okay, so... One of these should find interest... Okay... What? Okay, I freaked out for a second there. I thought the game was dying. Choose armors to configure armors individually. Choose general to configure general settings. Choose special to configure... Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're going to leave that for now. Keep the power. Yeah, keep that for now. 
what we should do, absolutely, before we do anything else, is freaking save. Because I don't have to remake my character if somehow we lose this. There you go. All right, beautiful. Uh, one more quick check. Let me make sure there's nothing else there that I missed that we do need to mess around with. Use an orange of wood. Okay, that's... Oh, there's a, a, one of the mods I have uh, overhauls racial abilities and stuff like that, so... Uh, I think that's what this resourcefulness thing and the instincts thing is? Focus your senses to detect sounds and scents. Less effective when indoors, movement and getting hit counts was the effect. Resourcefulness. Use your knowledge of wilderness survival to build campfires, harvest wood and create useful items. And we also have the ability to make a campfire. Now, there's not that much use in that other than cooking, but you know, still. Also, I'm moving my mic. Don't even think about it. Alright, cool. I think... Uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll go with it for now. If something seems off, we can always change it. Uh... I'm out of lockpicks. Well, how am I supposed to escape the... Oh. What happens if you... If you break all your lockpicks on this door? Like, are you just straight fucked? <laughs> like, what does that do? I have no idea. Oh, I, oh, God. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. All right, we did it. We are the greatest lockpicker of all time. Again, let me know how the sound is. Can you turn up brightness of torch? Wait, what? <laughs> uh, we have a torch now, so I can use one. But no, I can't really turn up the brightness. I mean, I could, but we'll kind of throw everything else off. An abandoned prison key, Gavner. Yoink. Only one way to find out. Yeah, I mean, I was tempted to do that. I, my assumption is that if you don't uh, escape with those lockpicks, you probably then do have to go rest in the bed, and then... Well, I don't know. Maybe they've, maybe they've made something more interesting happen, but my guess is you just rest in the bed, and then you... Start one of the other ways? Hmm. Do we want to lockpick this expert door? I mean, kind of, yes. But also, I am incredibly lazy. So that's a factor. Uh, now, I will at some point... Oh, there's a ghost over there. I will at some point show you which mods I have. Uh, I'll probably do like a video on it or something. But for now, just trust me that I do have mods. And there's a lot of them. And, uh, yeah. I don't really... Oh, shit. I don't really want to... Holy crap. Okay, that is loud as balls, man. Good lord. All right, let's fix the audio. Turn it down there. We'll go with that for now. Let's see if that fixes it. Still seems quite loud, doesn't it? You know, I think the problem really is the uh, sound effects for hitting dudes. So, like, weapon. Yeah, why is that really... I turned that down. It just didn't stay down. Let's turn those down. All right. Let's see if that fixes it. Take it easy, McPoodoo. Have a good night, man. What build are you going for? Good question. I do not really know. I want to kind of try, um... Melee, since it's the thing I never really did in Skyrim. Uh, however, there's a lot of cool magic mods. So we'll probably do like a... Mm, like a spell sword sort of thing. Ooh, an Imperial Sword. Good. And the shitty dagger. There we go. No, don't jewel wield it, you silly tit. What the... Yeah, that's what I wanted. Where's my torch? Miscellaneous. There we go. What's this? Prisoner's Plan. Storm is coming, I can tell. The water leaking in has become stronger. There's no better time than now. When the storm hits, the guards will be scrambling to figure out what to do with us. Amidst the confusion, we need to overpower the few that will be standing guard outside our cells and hold off the cell block entrance. We need only hold off until I can get one of their swords and break open the drainage gate in the corner of our cell. That's where we'll make our escape, Governor. Everyone move down river and we'll try to find shelter there until a storm passes. All right, cool. Jason, Lizzie should consume every consumable she picks up to get extra thick. True. Hello, Toby. How you doing? What's going on? We're playing Skyrim. We're playing Skyrim. Oh, an Imperial Shield. Uh, shields are going to be more important because I believe basically it's like time blocking now and you can sort of stagger enemies and things like that. Yeah, there's a... Uh, what was it? Hang on. There was a note here about a drainage... Like a drainage thing in the guy's cell. Do I see one? Oh, hang on. What's this? Trap door. What? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's make a save and go look down here. Again, let me know how the sound balance is, because I don't know. Is that another torch? Yes, it is handy. What happened to you? You didn't make it very far, did you, buddy? There you go. You're welcome. Whoa. Uh, can I break that? Yeah, no, Skyrim doesn't work that way. So you're playing a girl, what's a story? Well, I let people vote on uh, what they wanted to see for the character. So we're an Argonian female called Lusty Lizzie McGrizzle. <laughs> Which reminds me of Lizzie McGuire, but that wasn't the intention. But there you go. Uh, ooh, a satchel. A single lockpick. Don't mind if I do, Governor. 
The FOV, FOV still seems a little low. Let's put it, let's put it to like 90. Yeah, we'll go with that. So that takes me to Skyrim. Well, hang on. If that's the way out, it seems a little easy. I want to know what's what's up with the other direction. I'm never going to get back up here, though, am I? Like the oh god, oh, the jumping still sucks. Yeah, never going to let me. All right, so it's just instead of just reloading. No, not FOV. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, instead of just reloading the game, which would be really pointless, it's just TCL and pretend we didn't do that. Boop. Put your back on. All right. Yeah, because I want to know what's going on over here. Jason doesn't drink. I do not know. I mean, I'm not like opposed to it. It's just not something I generally do. Don't really, uh, it's never really appealed to me. Oh, boots! Sweet. Potions. I'm so glad I came this way. There's stuff everywhere. Uh, leather boots, iron boots. Iron boots. We'll take them both. We've got, got a decent amount of space for now. Iron mace. Bunch of crap. I want that shit. Alright, that's. Hey. That's so creepy. He was like, I sense a presence. Wait a minute, how do I even get to you? You know that's threatening when you can't reach me. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You little scamp. Do we have any magic? I wonder. Let's have a look. Uh, we do. We have flames. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Suck it. All right. I need to favorite these weapons, don't I, really? Let's do that now. How do you favorite again? Nope. Uh, oh, maybe that was it. I don't remember, you know? I really don't remember. Let's go to... Yeah, okay, so it's P on the keyboard. I don't think that's what it is by default, but uh, it's P for me anyway. Any idea what to specialize in? Uh, again, I don't really know. Uh, we're gonna go, like, a spell sword on that. I'm not entirely sure. You could be an alcoholic. You want my character to be an alcoholic. The font on that paper is terrible. I absolutely agree, yes. Yeah, an alcoholic playthrough would be amazing, Jace. All right. Sure, we'll make her an alcoholic. I can't make me an alcoholic. Also, I probably wouldn't suggest that. Hey, yeah. Okay. What's up with this? It's just like a pair of horns. Who does that? Seems bloody barbaric. I'll take the food. Why the hell not? Potion. Ooh, that's got quite a decent value. Goat cheese, not so much. Take the shield, a bow, and a sword. I said, I said, and a sword. There we go. Oh my God, there's booty everywhere. Guard orders. Sure. Oh, but it's got better font. No, it doesn't. We can't let the prisoners out, so either kill them or let them drown. Either way, all guards must evacuate as soon as possible. The storm is about to wash this whole fort into the river, and I'll be damned if I have to report a one legion death while under my watch. You have your orders. Up to it. Oh, a single coin. Sweet. Let's go. We're on a magical adventure of magicalness. Let's make a save. As I trust nothing. We're going to trust this room. Now you up on that trip. Da! Oh, shit. Is there something down there? Anything in there? Nope. Nothing at all. I am Battle Axe. Solution of Regenerate. I'll take that as well. God damn. You think these planks are dead people? I don't know why. Maybe because I'm blind. That might be a thing. Oh, Jason, you don't even eat wine cherry chocolate. I never said that. I never said that, Jesse. That's blasphemy. You know it. I never say no to chocolate. There's two exits to this place. This is kind of cool. Also, I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. I say we go out here because I don't really want to double back. I assume they're pretty similar where you pop out, but I don't really know. Beats the shit out of me. Man, let's see if the game crashes now from those, like, three mods that I installed right before I right before I loaded up the stream. Because that was maybe the worst idea I've ever had. But, uh, you know, they were all supposed to be relatively small. Oh, Jesus. Moonlight Towers offers the option to scale werewolf perk powers to stronger balance if you play on higher difficulties or mods that make the game harder. This will not remove all the challenge that higher difficulty offers, but will lessen their negative effects on werewolves. Use these options if you feel your werewolf is too weak with your settings. You can keep it. Okay. So we'll leave it for now, because we can change it with the ring later. I think we have more. I sure it's like a bunch of different things in our inventory for configuring mods. For example... I mean, I guess there's the Helgen Reborn guy. There's the Ancient Ring. That's the Moonlight Towers thing. It's like this. Okay, it's not that much. Never mind. I'll take it back. You're a good boy. You don't drink. But don't worry. One day, I'll get you one. Go wasted. Hooray! I look forward to it. All right, where the Christ are we now? That's a good question. Let's evaluate where we are. We're at an abandoned prison. Oh, we're just outside Windhelm. I guess we could head to Windhelm then, just to be different. There's a, like, that's like a, a follower, a custom follower. Now, I do somewhat have Dover Bear installed. Basically, the deal is that the regular Dover Bear mod 
uh, does not currently work for Skyrim Special Edition. So, what we have essentially done is download a different mod that adds like eight different Dover Bears to the game. One of them is like a Dover Bear Panda. And they're in just in different places. So I don't know where the hell they are, but they're around. I think you can use at least one of them as a mount. So that's pretty cool. Going on here then. Run of Debella. Oh, sweet. That's very handy. There's a dead dude. Lucky Lorenz. You don't seem all that lucky. I feel like this could be a mod. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up. Jesus Christ, you're carrying a lot of shit. I guess they were supposed to be like a hunter, because they got arrows and just a ton of hides and things. We got a lot of carry space right now, so we'll just take everything. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Did you have anything better to wear? Is my question. We got Imperial Light Boots. We'll chuck the shield on for now because we don't need our torch at the moment. Uh, yeah, hide armor. Are the hide boots better? No, they're worse. Hide braces, yep. Leather boots, they're better. Leather braces, they're better. Alright, well that was kind of pointless. Uh, foot wraps, they're like worth nothing. How do we drop them? It's F. Get rid of the boots, get rid of the gloves. And the tunic. Alright, looks good to me, man. Look at us. Look at us. I coughed then, and I just called that in time so you didn't have to hear it. One thing that kind of bugs me about the Skyrim Special Edition, uh, I, I don't know if this is a Special Edition thing or something a mod is doing, but I would imagine it's just a thing in the Sp Skyrim Special Edition. Basically, you know how if you used to, I'm sure, you know, if you played on PC, you used to be able to hold the middle mouse button and then sort of rotate the camera and you could see in front of your character when you had your weapon drawn? It doesn't work now. Wait, what? Oh, middle mouse button's my shout button. Yeah. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Get get out of here. Get, get power. Get out of here. We need to unequip that power so I don't keep doing that. So let's change that. Uh, yeah, power? I don't know what to, don't know what to equip. Can I just unequip them all? Yeah, there we go. Oh god, it's so bright. So yeah, I can't really get like a good look at us with our weapon drawn, but yes. That's what we look like currently. We're, we're floating. <laughs> that's what we look like currently. We're a creepy looking lizard. We do look kind of badass to be fair, considering we're a lizard lady. And I feel like that's... Quite a difficult thing to pull off. It's just, you know, badassery as a lizard lizard person. Maybe that's just me. Troll fat, I'll take it. Uh, I don't think we really need... Oh, I think the glow dust. I don't think we really need any of this crap. I will take the alchemy ingredients, though, because alchemy... I don't know why. Like, I never go into alchemy in Oblivion or Morrowind. And yet I did in Skyrim. It's just very, very odd to me. Even though I played Oblivion, then Skyrim, then Morrowind. So, like... Halfway through those, you know, in the middle, I did alchemy in Skyrim. Just never could get into it in the other two games, I don't know why. I mean, I did, like, very, very basic alchemy. Like, I knew I knew kind of how to do it, but that was about it, really. Like, that really was about it. We're going the wrong way if we're going towards, uh, towards Windhelm. Hello. There's a soldier. He's mining. If you Play. Know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Okay, so this is good, uh, a good test of the volume. It seems to me like the audio is going to be too bloody quiet for you. So, we need to jack up the master volume and then turn down like a bunch of other shit. So let's turn like the rest of this to sort of about half, I think. And then we might be good on the voices. Music can stay where it is. Music's fine. Menus, put that down. Horse steps, put those down. Weapons, put those down. Maybe even more than that. Birds... Birds are probably fine. Rain, yeah, we don't want that maximum. Wind, probably don't want that maximum. Thunder, uh, we could have it scare the shit out of us. Sure, let's put thunder on maximum so that when it does pop up, it will just absolutely surprise the crap out of me. All right, let's talk to him. Uh, don't worry, I'm very tempted to kill him, and we probably will if Fight. I think I can get away with or it. Die well. Talos guide you. Okay. I think we're probably good on his volume now. Uh, so let's see if we can actually pull this one off. Slit throat. Slit throat. Yeah, slit his throat. <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. We're the greatest. Alright. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's, um... I think that mod's called Sneak Tools. You hate the Stormcloaks. To be honest, I don't really hate either of them. I, I never really got into the, uh... Stormcloak versus Imperial storyline. Which, isn't that basically like a sort of second main story in Skyrim? I'm going the wrong way again. What the... Let's go across the bridge and go this way. Uh, yeah, so I think it's... I think it's Sneak Tools that does that. This one tough out. Holy shit. No, come back. What the hell? <laughs> Where did they go go? Did he get 
carry downstream? Is that it over there? There it is, you little scamp. Oh god. Yeah. I think there's actually a mod that adds underwater combat. I probably will uh I probably will add that assuming it's working for this version. <laughs> that was great. It just like dived on the wall like I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh yeah, so I never got into the uh oh my god, there's a lot of goats. Oh Jesus! This one's mad because I killed the rest of the goats! <laughs> Oh shit! It's like that part in Until Dawn, where you like you attack uh, spoilers, where you attack one of the um, like the deer or whatever, and then they all they all kill you. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! I think the music might be a little loud. Let me turn that down. Oh Jesus! I mean, it's gonna take a little bit of balancing here at first, but we'll, we'll get it eventually. Don't you worry. Don't don't you worry. You didn't know goats could get mad. Well, there's um. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, like animal tweaks or something like that, or... I, I Again, I'll, I'll go through a video where I show all the mods and what have you. Uh, but yeah, it, it, there's some kind of AI mod that affects the way animals work. It was only the black ones, did you notice that? It sounds a little racist, but like it's true. It was only the black ones that attacked me. Now, we can go across... <laughs> We're like back into the abandoned prison. Oh my god, I suck. Uh, so, I guess we kind of need to go, yeah, let's mark that there, because we kind of need to get on that path if we're going to go towards Windhelm. I mean, it's, we, we've kind of gone around a big sort of U shape, but that's fine. That's the Goat Submarine mod, exactly, yeah. Cradle Crush Rock. That was a giant just chilling. Well, uh, hello! How's it going, Mr. Giant? I'd rather not, you know, tangle with you, but I guess I'm gonna try, because I'm an idiot. I don't suppose I could slit your throat, can I? It seems unlikely. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, he's breathing so creepy. We should probably just not mess with it. Don't mess with the giant. Don't want, these, don't want this booty, though. Oh, that pissed him off, didn't it? Oh. Now get away from my goddamn chest. That's my head of booty. Yeah, it is, buddy. Yeah, it is. We should probably try and fight him, but let's see first, because I really don't think this is going to work. Let's also use magic at first, because we're going to need to get off as much damage as we can. Hey, buddy. Yay! Oh, my lord. He's so freaking tanky. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Ah! Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light? <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, good trip, mon frere. Open trap. Okay, I can like dodge him. Oh Jesus! <laughs> he just bitch slapped me. Oh my god. All right. Um. Yeah, I've established that it's not gonna work. I'm gonna loot your cow though, and that's why we saved. Well, we got the booty. We'll come back and get revenge on him at some point. What's this? Iron helm of witches. Ooh, sweet. Got an even better, better piece of booty. Let's hide our horrible, horrible dome. Uh, where the hell is it? So, gain 15 soul energy when a living foe dies, granting the soul burst power a thousand energy. What? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Slow down. Slow down there, brain. Gain 15 soul energy when a living enemy dies. Okay, cool. Granting the soul burst power. Okay, so, when you've killed enough enemies to get a thousand, you get 15 per enemy. You get the soul burst power. Don't know what that is though, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, so there is um, there is a perk overhaul by the way called Ordinator. So the perks are better and more interesting. Thin Lizzy got smashed, indeed. That should have been her name. She's not that thin. I'm mean, why well, she? She kind of is. She's she she's. I mean, for a lizard lady, this was as buff as I could make her. But admittedly, she is she is a little slender. Uh, I don't know if I can really be bothered. Just, fuck it, let's just mine it. It'll give me a chance to. Oh, we need a pickaxe. Well, never mind then. Do we actually have a pickaxe? I should check. I think I would have used it automatically if I did, but I'm double checking. All right, I see nothing. Let's get out of here. Are we going the right way? We're going the wrong way? <laughs> Holy shit! I keep I keep following that orange arrow. That's what it is. Jesus, that's right. We were gonna cut through and then like pass the camp this way. Yeah, because we're trying to get the path. She ain't that thick. No, but this was as thick as she was going. Like, this this is thick for a lizard lady. They come pretty damn slim. Hello, Noshi. How you doing, man? By the way, I am going to miss things in the chat. Like, I'm trying not to, but it's going to happen. Um, This way. 
God, I'm freaking exhausted. Like, you have no idea. I I have not slept well lately. Just not at all. Look at the tree, man. It's so beautiful. Oh, by the way, I am recording this uh, separately for YouTube, so it will be going up on YouTube uh, in, like, a higher quality. I would stream at the same quality if it were possible, but you can only stream in 6K bitrate, which is actually pretty friggin' low. Like, for a good quality video, you probably want, like, 30K bitrate? 40K? Something like that? Like, 6K is low, but that's the maximum that they let you do. Jason should start to do more squads. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, you mean squats. Gotcha. Bad fox! Oh my god. This fox is so cute. There we go. Now don't slide down the cliff. There you go. Right now you can go down the cliff. Up and at them. Splat. Oh my god. Look at that flip. Oh, that's great. And the goats are just like, yeah, we've seen it before. They always jump off there. Oh hey, we've uh... Found like a settlement or something. Let's see if we can find a quest. Get the press out of here! Bad goats! Bad! Oh, by the way, another mod I have is, uh, like, reduced weapon distance or something like that, because you might have noticed a lot of the weapons in Skyrim just hit way too far away. Like, you're not even near them. Like, your weapon physically doesn't touch them, and you still hit them. So, yeah, I got a mod that fixes that, which means combat might be a little bit more viable with a melee weapon now, because we won't be getting smacked from 16 feet away. Why did my brain pick the number 16? I don't know. Pheasant breast? Mmm. Not worth that much. Probably shouldn't be picked. That's empty. Ah. Oh. Shitty. Really, really. I need to favorite this torch. Because, again, things are quite dark with some of the graphical mods I have on. So let's put it on number two. Yeah. We should probably favorite our shield so we can switch between them. Aerial shield. Boop. And go to the menu and we'll put the shield on three. So if we go three. Two, three, 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 two. Three. Okay, beautiful. That's an empty chest as well. Why do I keep clicking on the empty chests? Thing in there. And this building sucks. Where's this? I mean, I, I, I keep clicking on them just expecting there to be something, but there never is. Ooh, potions. This, this building was kind of a bust. Kind of a bust. And they, yeah, nothing interesting. Alright, let's go. All right, let me catch up with the chat. No, Jason, don't kill the fox. It's your spirit animal. It is my spirit animal. Hello, Thomas. How you doing, man? But uh, fox is dead. Long since dead. You should try wearable lanterns. It's one of my favorite. Yeah, I almost downloaded that. And I did used to use that for the same reason. All right, and then for some reason, I just didn't download it. But it it's probably one of those mods I can add without, you know, being too dangerous to add mid-game. So we'll probably add it later. What the hell? Oh, it's a baby goat. That's bloody adorable. No, I'm not going to kill it before you ask. I've killed plenty of big guy. I can that. That's that's adorable. Hello. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, lady. Like, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Isn't this how you chop the wood? Like, you gotta do it yourself or something? I can't remember how this works. All right, there ain't much going on here at this settlement. I'll be honest. So well, let's just move on. Oh god, I'm stuck. What are you? Are you a goose? I think that's a goose. There's so many chickens. So many goddamn chickens. Heal her and take her wood. That's a good point. Let's just be a pro wrestling heel. Hang on a minute. There's another... There's another uh, house thingy up here. Oh, this is her house. Well, she'll probably have the key on her dead body, so... Let's go fuck her up. You don't get many opportunities to be a bad guy in Skyrim, so... <laughs> slit her throat while she's carrying the log. Damn. She had so much power, it's still carrying on. Alright, what do you got? I'll take your key. I'll take the cheese. I don't really want her clothes. We should dump her in the body of the Ring of Tremors. <gasps> She's got a good ring. Sweet. All right, let's equip that bad boy. Uh, apparel. Re... Where does it go? Where does it... Why do I not see it? Oh, because I'm blind. Okay. What does it do? Hang on, we should totally read that. Uh, when you block an attack, 5% chance to stagger nearby enemies. That sounds pretty handy. Am I going to be a bad guy? Well, it kind of seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that thud when, like, I smacked her face into that log just then. Oh, good lord, that was funny. There we go. No one will ever know we did it. You just go floating off down there. She'll probably get stuck on the... on the water wheel. Goats, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Okay, we're a lady now. We're a lady. You look like a lady. Eh, eh. You look like a lady. Eh, eh. There's probably nothing going on in here. Ooh, steal from chest. Holy will. Last time, pot, mm, totally won't. <laughs> Everything sucks. Per plate. Per... what? 
Is this something to do with the camping mod that I have? Or campfire? Maybe? Let's take it, see if it does something. Because otherwise I don't get it. Alduin is real! He's real, I tell you! Alright, let's read this. I'm totally not actually going to read it. What is that first letter supposed to be? Oh, as. Is that really supposed to be an A? As my da used to say, Imperials... I can only do, like, a stereotypical British voice. Imperials are idiots. That is why I'm writing this book. I ain't never... Wait, hang on. That is why I'm writing this book. I ain't never wrote a book before, but I do not reckon to write one again. But sometimes a man must do what a man must do. And what I must do is set the record straight about the god called Akatosh and the dragon called Alduin. They ain't the same thing, no matter what the Imperials might say or how they might wish it to be so. My da was never one for the gods. But my ma was, she worshipped all the divines and taught me lots of things. It's getting even more and more dumb, like as I go along. Like, duh. So I now, well, I think I'll tell you about Akatos just as much as any Imperial. I know he was the first of all the gods to take shape in the beginning place. But I know he has the shape of a dragon. My da even told me the story of Martin Septim and the things that happened when the gates <laughs> I can't keep going. <laughs> the things that happened when the gates of oblivion opened. Septim turned into the spirit of Actosh and killed Merun's Dagon. Now I don't know about you, but any dragon that fights the Prince of Destruction is okay by me. But now I hope you understand the problem. Akatosh is good, everyone. From North to Imperial knows that. But Alduin, he ain't good. He's the opposite of good. Not Alduin is evil, true and true. So you see, Akatosh and Alduin can't be one and the same. Alright, I can't keep going. <laughs> it's too fucking long. Actually, you know what? We're close enough. I'll fucking finish it. <clears throat> Gotta get back in character. Growing up as a lad in Skyrim, I heard all the stories told to me by my dad, who was told to by his dad, was told by his dad, and so on, and one of those stories was about Alduin, but she, it was not Akatosh, she was another dragon and a real one at that. Akatosh is some kind of spirit dragon, I think, uh, when he bothers to be a dragon all the time, and not a god living in some kind of god plaque, like Oblivion. But Alduin is a real dragon with flesh and teeth and a mean streak. Longer than the White River. I don't know what that is, but there you go. And there was a time when Alduin tried to root, wait, rule over all Skyrim with uh, as other dragons. But in the end, it took it took <laughs> it took some mighty strong heroes to finally kill Alduin and be done with his whole sorry story. So no wait, so I got to ask. Does that sound like Akatosh to you? No, friend. No, it does not. And so I, Thomgar, Iron Ed, do firmly say, with the utmost conviction, that Alduin is real, and he ain't Akatosh. Wow, I'm glad I read that. That was very insightful. That was, that was, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I killed a woman who owned that book. If you own that book, you deserve to die. By the way, what's written within this book is actually accurate. See, it probably is. That's probably what they're saying. <laughs> but, but it's written by a moron. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we are going... Hang on. Where the Christ is this path? We're on the path. Alright, no, no. We don't need that marker anymore. Remove it. We're going this way. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I've got to get out of the character now. Atosh. That was my impression, by the way, of what, like... No offense. I really don't mean offense by this. That's what some people in Essex sound like. And that's why if you've ever wondered, Jason, why do you not have an Essex accent? Well, you see, I'm what's called not an idiot. Sometimes. So, yeah. The, believe it or not, it's actually people that sound like that around where I live. Like, you know, they've got to be incredibly dumb. Obviously, we're talking like, you know, the lowest or like 5%. But there's definitely a few people I've heard that sound like that. Like... They make they make me look like Albert fucking Einstein. Hey, where you going, rat buddy? Get out of here, you little scamp. Who's in the Whoa whoa? You okay there, bud, around that tree? You, you okay there around that tree? Die! What the hell he dodged? He's the greatest of all time! Is he really not one now? He's just gonna run away. Even though he's aggroed. Alright, there's a house over there. Let's go check out the house. 
You think your Twitch is working? Sweet. Hello, Luna. Uh, by the way, if you're having problems with the stream, uh, just turn down the stream quality, and you should be good to go. So click on the little cog below the video and turn it down. Oh, shit. And turn it down from... Um... Is it really running away? It's... Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh this is bad. Yep, this is very bad. All right. Uh, we may be a little underpowered to deal with this. But yeah, anyway, turn down the uh, the stream quality with the cog below the video, and then you should be good to go. Oh! Yep, okay, yep, yep, okay, yep, yep. All right, that guy hits pretty freaking hard. This is why I saved it right right now. We may have to run away, though. This, this could be a problem. Okay. Can I abuse your AI? Probably not as easily with uh, the, the mods I have on. But I'm going I'm to have to try, aren't I? He's taking some down. Oh, Jesus. Do you have any healing potions? I have some, right? We should totally just use them. That might be a good idea. Burn, you son of a bitch. Not like, seriously, burn. Okay, we're weakening him. This is a start. Do I have, I have a bow, right? Use the bow, you idiot. Pure bow. Yes. This is the stuff right here. We can totally do this. Don't ever hit me. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh god! Oh, it almost hit me. Oh, that was so close. Potions, potions, potions. Run! Get the shield out. Get get the weapon out. Get where's the weapon? Where's the weapon? Uh, left click? No, 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 it wasn't left click. Oh shit. It's so confusing. Equip the friggin' shield, man! And the sword! No, in the other hand! Oh my god. Thank you. Oh wait, you can just dodge backwards? That's a thing I can do now? Oh, not not from that attack now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We can kill this dude. But holy shit, this thing this thing is like way out of our league right now. And mine's running away. I'll take it. Let's sneak and maybe it'll lose us. It's gonna come running back any second and just mess me up. But if not, we get to loot this building for free. That's pretty sweet. Oh, a bag of money. Clothing. I don't really care. Let's unlock the chest whilst we are. He seems to have lost interest, so I'll just take it. Been a while since he's played Skyrim, hasn't it? Yes, I was saying that at the start of the stream. Um, if we don't include Enderal, which I kind of don't, because, you know, Enderal, Enderal's great, but it's not Skyrim. Like, it's made in the Skyrim engine, but it's very different. Excuse me, I had to clear my throat. Uh, if we don't include uh, Enderal, it's been years. Literally years. Long bloody time. God damn it. I hate... It's left click, right for the... Yeah, okay, so left click for the sword. There we go. There we go. So why wasn't the sword coming up? You all saw... Excuse me. You all saw me favor that on one. And yet, for some reason, it took itself off. Holy crap. We kind of... Well, we don't need to kill this. Is it just... Is it lost interest now? Oh, it's like found a fox or something? What's it doing? What are you doing, man? Hello? I, oh my god. Was it running at the giant? What was it doing? Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, I regret everything. I should have just left it. There's another enemy over here. Oh good. Spray something in the water, which is terrifying. Oh my god, I stunned it. I'm the greatest. <laughs> that poor attack. Oh Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> You got here during my exit performance. Ah, okay. Fair enough. You know what? We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. The, I'm gonna learn my lesson. We're gonna leave the saber cap for now. We're gonna leave the saber cap for now. I do have five arrows. That's true. Very true. Whew. If you're leaving midnight fire, take it easy. Have a good night. Okay, let's actually make it a wind helm. Because I really want to make it a wind helm. You know I'd die. I, I figured I would as well. That thing hits pretty bloody hard. But you saw doing that. Uh, I don't have any stamina, but doing like the shield bash took it out of its attack, so if we weren't quite so fragile, we would have, uh, we, we have more options at our disposal now, I guess is the way to phrase it. Oh! Yeah, we have more options at our disposal in combat than you would in normal Skyrim, because, you know, we can stagger enemies and stuff like that, and they don't have infinite range. Uh, I don't know if it affects enemies like them, is a good question. Because again, it, it affects weapons, so probably not, is my guess? Probably just gives me a disadvantage against an enemy like that, let's be honest. Because my weapon's probably a little shorter than it would be normally, and he can do those giant lunge attacks. But hey, it's a saber-toothed cat, so... It really probably should have the advantage there. And again, we're like, what, level 1? Almost level 2, I think? 
Because I think we leveled up fighting that at some point. We're making it, man. Are those pandas? Maybe those are the, uh, yeah, I think they are wearing Dover Bear helmets. I like the way I called them Dover Bear helmets. They're literally just, you know, the Skyrim Nordic helmet. Listen, do you have the alcohol effect mod? That would be fun. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, those are pandas, all right. Hey, how's it going? <gasps> this one's wearing the Dover Bear. Dover Panda! You come with me. Assuming I can make you come with me. Where'd that... Oh, okay. It's... Apparently it's following me? It seems a little confused. What about you? Are you just a... You're just a regular panda. Or can I make you follow me as well? Alright, 30... 30 slots remaining? Really? What if I click on you again? How do I get rid of you? How do I make it not follow me? <laughs> it just keeps saying it's now following. Hmm. Let's reload, because I, I, uh, I saved before I clicked on the second one, because I thought that might happen. Well, we got a Dover Panda. Don't know why he's over here. What are you doing? Dover Panda, what are you... No, but seriously. What are you doing? Alright. Follow me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on! Who's a good Dover Panda? Alright, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just assume it's gonna come with us. It might just disappear into the, the Great Abyss, because it doesn't seem to want to follow me, but eh, let's hope it does. Let's hope it does. Windhelm Stable is discovered. Alright, that's the fast travel man, so that's handy. Yes, we do have horse armors on. Who the hell are you? Oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? Yes, actually, you were. Can I buy a horse even though I'm poor as shit? It's for sale if you've got the coin. Well, let's see. <laughs> That's the problem I don't. Uh, let's see if we can offer him a thousand. Maybe we somehow do. If you had it, you'd be riding and we wouldn't be talking. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's an enemy Sometimes over there. The difference between life and death is a swift steep. Yes. Where is the enemy? There's an enemy like. There's two enemies all the way over there in the distance. Like if you look at the compass. I even know. Fuck it. Let's go in Windhill. Let's see what's going on here. It's Skyrim. It is indeed. Hello, Black Wolf. How you doing? And hello, Monty. I'm talking about here or see the name Monty. I think of Full Monty, the movie, where a bunch of like reasonably out of shape, reasonably old men uh, do like strip tease. Basically, become like uh, you know male strippers for money. Pretty good movie, I think. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. I remember that. Classic. Him? Me? Classic. I have no part of that. Yeah, no part of that. I like the helmet. It's pretty cool. I like the cape as well. The full Monty is hilarious. I've only ever seen little tiny bits of it, but I believe it's good. Funnily enough, there's a guy in that who... I forget his name, but he's Scottish. And he was in uh, 28 Days Later or 20... I think it was 28 Weeks Later. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. And you refuse to help the storm cloaks. Which are stink. Yes, oh, top of the barn here. Why do you have to go? Who are you, Irish? Maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. The graphics don't seem as good as you remember, but probably because <sighs> it's actually pretty old now. Yeah, it's like six years old. And believe it or not. Elves. Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? All right, shut up, lady. I'm talking. Believe it or not, this looks so much better than it does normally. Like, I have a lot of graphical mods on. Uh, what I was saying, the guy, uh, one of the guys from Full Monty, he's Scottish. He was in, I think, 28 weeks later or 28 days later. I can't remember which one. He goes, like, crazy and kills his wife. It's, like, a really brutal scene. You probably know the one I'm talking about. Uh, he is... He voices... Fucking, I can't remember his name, but the vampire dude from uh, the Castlevania games, even though the Castlevania games, the newer ones, are a bit shit. But there you go. That's not his fault. And he also plays Rumpelstiltskin, amongst other characters, spoilers, in Once Upon a Time, which is uh, a TV show sort of about fairy tales that are in the real world. That's actually a pretty cool TV show. They do have, like, a lot of shit episodes, but, you know, when it's good, it's pretty good. I uh, do I have the Drunken Effect mod. No, you asked that. I do not. No, I don't hate your people. <laughs> actually... Let's say yes, just because I want to see what she says. Yes, I do hate the Dark Elves. I'm a wastist. Then we have nothing more to talk about. Even though I'm related to all the other McGrizzles, which are all Dark Elves. Hey, who's a good Dover Panda? Yes, you are. All right, so at least we got a new Dover Bear. And in the first bloody episode as well. 
Alrighty, I would like to give a very special shout out this month to the following $10 plus tier patrons. So thank you very much to Nuria Age, Don Lobo, I'll be jiggered, Billy Nine, Dr. Pepper Penguin, Philip Ramp, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And of course, thank you to all of the $5 plus tier patrons who should be on the screen at any moment, as well as this month's Twitch subscribers who should be listed there as well. And thank you to everybody who is in the lower tier on Patreon as well. I could not do this without you. You guys are awesome. If you would like to be on my Patreon and support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash LP, linked in the video description. But most of all, just thank you for watching. Good night, everybody, and goodbye.